Welcome back. For 31 years, one name was synonymous with CKSA, Wes Saunders. Wes was our anchor and news director for much of his time here and became a household name to many Lloydminster residents. But those who worked with him remember what it was like. Wes was just the classiest guy you'll ever meet in the, in the business. Uh, very low key, but a guy that I learned so much from, uh, from the years I worked with him and he was a pioneer of CKSA. But that was the guy, I mean, he was the face of CKSA for forever, right? And he was the guy, he was the guy when, when I was growing up. You know, growing up in, in the Midwest uh, with peasant vision and, and really only two channels, CKSA and CITL for the most part, uh, I grew up watching West Saunders and and, and that was really the early stages of, of my career were influenced by, by Wes. But Saunders was one of only many well-known faces to beam themselves into your home every night. Many people you see on other stations across Canada got their start at CKSA. I spent 17 years uh, at, at the station uh, working both radio and television. Uh, the first year and a half or so was as a, as a reporter and an on-air person and then I became news director for the, the next 15 years. And um, I, I think the one thing that I take away most from my time at, at the station is all the, the great people that I had the opportunity of working with. So many people who started their careers in Lloydminster. And now we can look to just about every single major market, medium market city across Canada, coast to coast, and I can find two, three, four, five people who started their careers with us in Lloydminster. Now CTV Edmonton weatherman Josh Clausen grew up in the border city watching Wes Saunders. It was a little odd for me just because I had grown up there and so to go to high school there and have all this group of friends and then to go away for two years and now suddenly you're back and you're wearing a shirt and tie and a jacket and you're Oh, you're the TV guy now. So it was, it was a, an odd transition for me uh, to come back to Lloyd. Another CTV Edmonton face and former CKSA sportscaster is Adam Cook. When I first got there, oh, I was blown away. I mean, they had camera guys and uh, editors, and um, we had more than one computer. So, no, I thought, I thought Lloyd was pretty... Uh, was pretty off the hook. It, it was a good time. We had a big newsroom. LA, Greg Buchanan spent 15 years as sports director for CKSA News, anchoring alongside West on his last night, and is still amazed at the level of production he did each and every night. Some of the programs we came up with in the early days, and you look back to it, it was amazing what we did. Uh, we did some really neat things uh, with very little tools to, to really come about from. It's an event that still haunts many of the employees of Newcap Television today. Sometime after CKSA signed off on Halloween night 1979, the cables were cut on our 546-foot transmission tower just north of the city, bringing a halt to our television service. And you know, in those days, um, there was no television service, there was no cable, there was no satellite, so when the tower hit the ground, television was off the air. And uh, our general manager at that time, Peter Senchuk, a lot of things that occurred over the next 48 hours that they tell me about that I was doing and others were doing uh, to uh, just say, okay, we got to get back on the air and how are we going to do that? A total of six RCMP officers were assigned to the case. The tower landed on top of the transmitter building, thankfully not damaging it too severely. Management worked feverishly to get the signal back up and on the air and into people's homes. Through the phone calls uh, to, to other TV stations where we we found another transmitter that we could replace with it and we got the tower going and we weren't down very long. Uh, we were back on the air with lower power but it happened pretty fast. Peter arranged for a used piece of tower belonging to CFRN in Edmonton to be brought in and erected at the site and restored television service to the area in just over 13 days. And just about anyone who you talk to who grew up in Lloydminster remembers what it was like when their TV stopped working. Just played hockey a little longer uh, in the winter, did your chores, and uh, probably got better marks in school than, uh, than I would have. And, uh, you know, after a while, you do develop a routine without it, and the world doesn't end. But uh, in hindsight, I, I, I would like to see the look on my kid's face if we said, oops, nine months without Xbox, uh, boys. I remember my Uncle Chuck was running the theater here and he was quite happy because uh, uh, with no TV, of course, our business picked up. To this day, it's not known who vandalized the tower. Police questioned several people at length, but no charges were ever laid. 
the estimated cost and damages to the station was well over $500,000 at the time. This stump, part of the foundation of the original tower, sits just a few feet away from where our current tower is now, a haunting reminder of the darkest time in CKSA history. When we return, we'll have a look at the future of NewCap Broadcasting and the impact the station has had on the business community here in Lloydminster. That's next on Around the Region. Welcome back. CKSA and CITL are one of only a few twin-stick operations operating independently in Canada today. And we're the only small market station to be on the air for 50 years. Uh, the present owners are the Steele family and uh, they bring a wealth of knowledge in the broadcast business. Uh, they operate both radio and televis television stations and they allow us to uh, tap into resources uh, both on a staff and uh, on a business basis. Advertisers have always played a big role in day-to-day -day operations of the station. In the early days, anchors would read copy live from the studio, or a business owner would come in to do five minutes a day on an upcoming sale they might be having. We'd work close with programming and, and you know people like uh, Bob Cameron, uh, that uh, we would uh, create programming, we would create opportunities that were attractive to our advertisers. What I've liked about CKSA TV is uh, that we can put our own story on the TV. We can get our ads done by a local crew taking pictures of us and the real human beings that, that make Almer Chefs and Westridge something different. And so it, we can tell our story a lot clearer than if it was a TV station run from far away. Almer has been a longtime client of Newcap Television, but even new businesses see the benefit of advertising with us. You know, it draws in, get an idea of what you're about and what kind of products you carry and encourages them to come in. Since I started doing the TV commercials, it's really increased business, and especially locally because you're Sales people you work with know you, they know your store, they know how to you know, work your store so that you target the correct app. Colin and Mike May are the current owners of May Theatres in Lloydminster. Their father started advertising with CKSA shortly after the station went on the air. Dad tells a story about uh, buying a slot, five, five minute slot at five to six because uh, the show started at seven and he had Wes Saunders with a one sheet and Wes had to talk about that one sheet for five minutes. You know, I think that uh, without the opportunity for collaboration uh, between the business community and and TV and, you know, it's it's more than just covering local news, but it, it's, it's really, it's a communication tool that I don't think that our community would be as successful as it is today without that cooperation and partnership, because that's really what it is, is a partnership, and it's been a tremendously successful one. NewCap is very committed to each and every community that we serve, and uh, all of the decisions that get made and, and managing the stations happens right at the station level. As always, CKSA is looking towards the future. In recent months, our engineering staff have been hard at work preparing for the next phase of broadcasting in Lloydminster. HDTV will be making its way to the Midwest in the fall of 2011. We're also looking at increasing our local TV productions and expanding our news uh, programming as well. Uh, I'm a big, big believer in local news. Is there is there more of an opportunity to, to do better, to do more local news? I think so. And if there's a, if there's an opportunity for expansion, that would be that would be my vision. You are watching UCAP News with Jenna Bridges. All of us here at UCAP Television want to say thank you to our viewers. You've been there through our ups and our downs, our good times and our bad. You supported your local station and for that we are grateful. I'm just one of the many people who've had the pleasure of telling your story over the years. Many have come before me and many more will come after. Thank you for celebrating 50 years of CKSA with us.